Hello again, Year 5. It's Mr. Hatton. This is Tuesday's lesson for your literacy learning. Um, we're going to continue to be looking at our magazine. Uh, we wrote our introduction yesterday on Monday, which I'm hoping you found really easy. Those of you, uh, those of you that have emailed, I've got back to you. Um, yeah, we're going to move on with our SPAG starter. Uh, we're going to be looking at commas, thinking about commas and things like that. So, look at this sentence. It says, Josephine was a pretty tall girl. Does it need a comma? If you think it does, where should it go? Now, this is almost like a trick question. I'll see if you can find out why. Pause the video here, maybe chat with the person that you're working with, or just try and work it out by yourself. Does it need a comma or not? Off you go. So, it says, Josephine was a pretty tall girl. So, we could use that pretty as an adjective, couldn't we, to describe tall. So, we could say that she's a pretty tall, which means she's quite tall, or we could use a common, actually, couldn't we? And we could go, Josephine was a pretty tall girl. So, it does need a comma, and it could not need a comma, so it's a bit different. So, this should explain it a bit more. This is an example of commas changing the meaning of a sentence. So it says, Josephine was a pretty tall girl. So the absence, so lack of a comma, invites us to read pretty tall as an adjective old phrase. So we only find out that Josephine's relatively tall. So like I said, so she's quite tall. Josephine was a pretty tall girl. So we've used the comma. The comma separates two adjectives. So we know that Josephine is pretty as well as being tall as well. So, what two things could this sentence mean? Where could the comma go to change the meaning? Hurry up and shoot, Grandpa. So, if we read that, we, re uh, we think somebody's telling you to hurry up and shoot, Grandpa. So, we could change it to meaning shoot a football, couldn't we? For your first clue. There's Grandpa. We don't want to shoot Grandpa. So see if you can work it out. Pause the video here. Try and work it out by yourself. Right. So, if I was you, I mean, I don't want to shoot my Grandpa. Certainly not. So the comma would go there. So, hurry up and shoot, Grandpa. We're giving that space to make sure that the meaning makes sense. If we don't do that, we're thinking that somebody's about to shoot Grandpa. And obviously, we don't want to do that, do we? So, Choose whether picture A or picture B best matches this sentence. Let's leave Samira, he said. Which one do you think it makes sense? Uh, which one makes sense the most? Right. It is, of course, A, isn't it? Because they're leaving. Let's leave Samira, he said. So they're going to leave together. If we change that and got rid of that comma there and change that and said, let's leave Samira, we're leaving then Samira out, aren't we? So that's why it's different. So we'll move on. See if you can work this one out. Which one matches the best? She loves eating her bed and her family. Is it eating her bed or this one? Right, it is, of course, It's this one is actually saying it's A because there's no commas. If we change this to that and that, that would make sense. She loves eating here, her bed here, and her family. We've separated them and we've made it make more sense, haven't we? So... If we keep moving on, the room was, see if you can work this one out, the room was full of crying babies and mothers. Which one makes sense? Had they used the comma right? How could we change it with the comma? The actual, uh, yes, so this one actually means this here. So, if we wanted it to make more sense, we'd put a comma there. So, the room was full of crying babies 
and mothers because then we're um, separating who's crying. If we put crying just there without a comma, we're saying that both people are crying, aren't we? That's what it's meaning. We've got to be, It's just showing you to be very careful how you're using, how you're writing sentences and how you're using punctuation as well. So, just move on quickly. Right, here's the last part of your starter. So, you just need to add the commas to the sentence, change these meeting, slow children crossing, eat Daniel, look at that blue bearded man. When the lightning changed, uh, lightning turned bright, yellow people became scared. All the time machines are getting more powerful and intelligent. Right, just write those down in your book on the page where you were writing starters either yesterday or start a new page for them today. And I look forward to marking them on Friday to check that your understanding is as high as I know it can be. But for now, we're going to move on and we're going to get on to starting... Uh, starting to move on with the first main paragraph today. So we'll just go over this again. We're writing a non-chronological report or a magazine article to inform. And we're also going to be able to create a magazine about space share with every class in school in Hucklow. And luckily it's going to go on the web page. Uh, hopefully it's going to sh we're going to be able to show off how brilliant we are in year five. Not just my class, not just Miss Big classes, uh, Miss Biggs's class, but everybody showing off how great we are. So here's a paragraph about astronauts traveling into space. Uh, I've written this one as an example. You will notice it's nowhere near as good as an example that you could write. This is an example I might expect from maybe I don't know maybe a year three level. Um, I want you to read through it, or I'll read through it very quickly, and then after that, you're going to use this page to go through it. You should have had it printed out. It'll be sent her. It'll have been sent home with your packs from last week. Um, you're going to go through it using this page to correct it, make it better, and then you'll have a basis. If you can improve mine, you can make yours best you can be. Anyway, so space travel. Humans have always thought about space and wanted to know what's up there. Humans have built rockets to go into space, and scientists called astronauts flying them. Tim Peake and Helen Sharman are two astronauts from the UK. They had to do some really hard training to go into space. The first thing that you'll notice about that is it's really short. The sentences are short, and it's quite boring. I've nearly fallen to sleep reading that myself. You can do 100 billion times better than that. It's ridiculous how much better you could do than that so pause this on this page go through it give uh once you've done it and corrected it like i would with your work um i want you to stick it in so i can read it uh and can you give me a star and a wish to help me improve my writing what would you have done better so straight away i'm going to realize this if you uh coming back i'm if you're coming back, I'll show you the things that you might have noticed or probably should have noticed. I can see straight away that that should be a capital. It's a subtitle, so I should have my capital letters. Humans have always thought about space and want to, to know what's up there. I could make that better. I'm expecting you to do so much better than that in your writing. Built rockets. I've never heard of a rocket, so I'll correct that because that should be an, an E, shouldn't it? Rockets. To go into space and scientists called astronauts i would put a full stop there cross that out and i would have made that a capital or should have made that a capital tim peak and helen sharman are two astronauts from the uk they had to do i forgot capitals there now in yours i'm expecting you to go through you could use this as a base and what you could do so much better I've thought about it. it's probably not even year two level this. That's how poor it is. You can improve it. I want you to go through. When we get to training, tell me everything they had to do to start training. Uh, you don't just have to talk about Tim Peake and Alan Charman. You could have spoke about Buzz Aldrin or Neil Armstrong or Mae Jemison as well. Uh, can you go into detail about the food that they eat there? Obviously, we found out that they used to have it like um, toothpaste, but now they've changed it. Can you tell me about the different missions have been on? Some of the stuff that they did on space, all the astronauts. Tell me what we've learned from going into space. Go into as much detail as possible. I'm expecting to see parentheses. 
I'm expecting you to go back, use the features, use your plan, uh, use your feature find, the list of features you should be in, uh, including in your writing are there. And I'm also expecting to see subheadings above it. So it is your turn to write a paragraph about astronauts. If you do need any help or guidance with writing it, then by all means, please get in touch with me. Uh, I'm on my emails all this week. I'm at home, so I will be able to get in touch with you more or less straight away, and I can even give you a call if you need it. So take care, get in touch if you need help, and goodbye.